the small of some dude that looked legit. That dude, I think he's drinking whiskey in the morning. And then following that is your actual taste when you get it on your palate. Uh, and that's pretty straightforward in terms of what stands out to you when it gets your palate. And also take note of the differences between the front of your palate and the rear, the middle and the rear of your palate because it will change, okay? Following that is the mouthfeel. Mouthfeel is just kind of how it sits in your mouth. Now, do you have good coverage? Is it viscous? Is it kind of chewy? Is it thin? Just kind of doesn't feel good in your mouth. Is it coating your mouth well, okay? And then the finish. And so that's, you know, really. Yeah, I'm just going to bring the paper. Right? I thought you did. Rotate. Just leave a step for the next one. Yeah. Yeah. My birthday person that I drink on my birthday for special It's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. It is batch A119. <laughs> and the proof on this puppy is 135.2. 135.2. Oh. <laughs> Elijah Craig barrel proof. What was the, the win? Uh, yeah, right in front of my face. Sorry, I was trying to cheer you. No, 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 no. I was trying to cheers. Uh, it was, cheers. Uh, What's up everybody, this is Armand and Samar from Bonnet and Bourbon here at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. We just got finished doing our uh, session for a blind whiskey date. Yeah, the blind we date. dated five different whiskeys, Right. because we did have a Tennessee in there, so yeah. we don't want to just say bourbon. Yeah. But it uh, was a fantastic experience. Uh, we welcome you guys to come and check us out, and check us out, check out the podcast. Mm -hmm. Where can they find us, babe? Um, bondedandbourbon.com. Um, you can also follow us on Instagram at Bonded and Bourbon Podcast. Um, definitely tune into all of our shows. Every Tuesday, we drop a new whiskey review um, on iTunes, Spotify, your favorite podcast streaming station. Join us. Here we are. So here we are at the second event of the day. It is 11:20 uh, in the morning. We already started with five drinks, doing some blind tasting, and now we're here with uh, Mr. Brent Elliott and Four Roses with the uh, Y Rye. So we're going to talk about a bunch of different stuff. Uh, you guys already saw what we're tasting, so we're going to get into it and let uh, let Brent do his thing. Sounds great. <laughs> and I guess the same answer would be like, why we use the wood fermenters. Is there an advantage? No. <laughs> but they look cool. <laughs> and we'll see you at the next Four Roses event, I'm sure. <laughs> Perfect. She gave it to you? Yeah, she just walked by with this. And me and some other dudes. Thanks for the hug. We, uh, we started digging your boxes. We found two half bottles. So if I'm a distiller and I say, you know, I've got this product and it's going to be a two-year-old product, I want to put it in char four and get as much flavor as possible. Well, actually, you're kind of working against yourself. You would want to put it in a char one barrel because basically you're giving yourself a jump start. That whiskey doesn't have to work all the way through uh, that char layer to get to the good stuff. That the price of whiskey in the 18 teens, right after the Louisiana purchase, all the way up you know, to the War of 1812 and even afterwards, the price of whiskey in Louisiana and New Orleans was the same as it was in Kentucky. 
So the question became, why should they send whiskey all the way to New Orleans if they're getting the same price for it in Kentucky? I look up and I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I, what, are we taking a picture? Is it a video? I don't know. I hate when you start like smiling and you're like thinking that he's, yeah, and then <laughs> Did they go in? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Sorry, me too. Who's around the corner? It's a long line. I think you got something that they say. That's what I said about, like, well, yes, we just get to We'll be uh, doing a really good job with it. Yeah. Yes, yes, I know we caught that. Uh, they couldn't get off. What's up, buddy? <laughs> What's up? Oh, it doesn't go around the corner. This goes to the corner. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the I finally get to test out my birthday gift. <laughs> I'm used to it. <laughs> oh, ultimate VIP, baby. Ultimate. <laughs> oh, this is Kyle. He's in my face. <laughs> This is dangerous. It really is. It's okay, pour me half of what you just poured. That is good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Right, so this is our weeded bourbon. So corn, wheat, and barley. It's a four-year-old bottle and bond. We're just five years old now, so it's our kind of our first offering. Uh, we also have our second offering out here, which is our Kentucky Straight Rye Whiskey. So if you finish that, get some of the rye. It's uh, a very low rye rye. Okay. So 56% rye, 33% corn, 11% barley. So when you said, I was expecting 51%. That's kind of like the standard yeah, yeah. low rye rye. Sure, yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's good, man. It's good. It, it, it brings a lot of a lot of folks. You know, of course, love rye. A lot of folks don't like rye because of that pepperness, that hotness you get from it. Right. So this is a little different approach, man. It has a lot more uh, of that kind of that grassy, that, that vegetable flavor, like, uh, mintiness like coming really from it. Bourbon. Okay, yes, yes, yeah. Well, that's what that reminds me more is a high rye bourbon than, than more of a, of, of a rye whiskey. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna join you. Cheers. Who are you? I Cheers. Aaron. Aaron, I'm Haley. Nice to meet you. That's like Chris Dan or something. Get on the lap. These are awesome. Matt Drew? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Right? About 100 miles, uh, about 60 miles. She's so sweet. That was amazing. Yes. So this is our brand new Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve. 
What's really cool about it is as the whiskey's aging, instead of sitting in a regular barrel, we actually have to sit in a chiseled and charred barrel. So these cuts actually allow the whiskey to penetrate the wood 50% more and get 50% more flavor. So it's very bold, very robust, but very approachable. About roughly what's the age on it? About four to six years. So as long as it's over four, we don't have to put an age state in. Right, right, right. But I mean, I'm assuming that is accelerating that process. It is, yes. So it's sort of the way Brown Foreman likes to do everything is it's all about Mother Nature and less about Father Time. So we'll taste it and when it tastes ready, that's actually what we're calling it. Yeah, like Old Forester, one of my favorites. Oh, absolutely love it. So the actually the common denominator is our master distiller is Old Forester's master distiller, Chris Morris. So this is one of his uh, brainchild mad scientist uh, experiments. That is really good. Very nice. That is yes. really good. Yeah. Super smooth, complex. You almost don't even notice it's 100 proof. Right. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. you guys did great no, with I know. That. What's really great is they wanted to make a bourbon to honor the men and women that raised the barrels. Right. So on our new bottle, in the back on red, they actually invite you to come tour our coop range because we are the largest distillery with the largest right coop range so in the world. some help so I'm not the only one slowly pouring you drinks. We appreciate your patience. I got enough How? What's happening brother? Are you podcasting on me right now? You know it. Ready? Are we ready for what? 
Conviction, they got an award, totally deserved it. So, I don't know how Kyle manages to hold this day in and day out. This is heavy. Please, 
right here. Great. Thank you. Of course, it's smarter than means she gets paid. That's like all metal. I like it. You distributed down here in New Orleans? Yeah. yeah. Do you live here? Yeah. Where do you shop? Brady's Wine House. Sometimes I go over to Martin's. Martin's will have it. Yeah. Um, I'm working on Brady's. Yeah. Working on Brady's. How's it going? Drink more bourbon. Hey. Who's that good looking Who's guy? that handsome man? Wait, behind Chad? No. Oh no, there's no one back there. Hey, drink more bourbon and drink it blind. How about that? Bourbon blind. Don't be the bourbon blind. Are you telling people what to do now? Yeah. 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 Wow. That's pretty interesting. Bonded Lillard. Like you said, it's a mix and it's really good. Harm proof. It's right there.
man. I think I've sampled everybody. Our story, our story was lost in time until our Tennessee, represent! You damn right! Go get yourself! Verbatim. 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 I love her. Congratulations, you guys. VIP. Holy shit, you're like royalty, bro. Right? <laughs> you're like royalty. I'm like, I'm the ultimate nothing. Cocktail. <laughs> Bourbon
Everybody's closing up. It is closing time. We closed out the second night. What's up? So we will see y'all. Um, hopefully we'll have some extra footage. There's supposed to be an after party. I don't know if there's cameras allowed, uh, but there's an after party for VIPs. So uh, I'll see if I can get you guys in there and get some behind the scenes type stuff. I heard there's uh, bottles of every single thing that was at here that was left over. So uh, we will see. But um, right now I'm trying to find Erin. Looks like I just found her. We shut down the bourbon festival two days. Not one, <laughs> not twice, but oh, I guess it is two. Sorry, <laughs> I'm drunk. Good night. Thank you for watching. We love y'all. Peace out. And they gave you one. There's the crew right there. Hey! hey. 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 New Orleans. <laughs> That's right. No, no, sorry. You're okay. 2019, <laughs> closing it out. Everyone's closing up. See y'all later. Absolutely loves you guys. I do. Every single one of you. If you like our show, go ahead and hit the subscribe if you love us.